I'm Gunnery Sergeant Sarah Hart, violist with the President's Own United States Marine Chamber Orchestra. You just heard me and my colleagues Chris, Janet, and Shar playing virtual chamber music. We recorded in our own homes and then edited the videos together to create that beautiful music by Caroline Shaw. Earlier this year, we got to play it in person for students all over the Washington, D.C. area. We loved starting with that piece, which was inspired by an ancient beech tree because it centered us, gave us a moment of beauty and strength to fade away all our stresses. Now that we're mostly working from home, we miss seeing each other and sharing our music with students. We know that many of you are at home as well, so we thought we could share some practice tips from our homes to yours. Things that help us to keep improving and making music, even though right now we don't get to rehearse with our friends or prepare for our usual concerts. I find that right now more than ever, it really does feel good to play my instrument each day. And I try to embrace that when I pick the music for my practice session. I keep a stack of sheet music in my practice area so that I don't get distracted by my computer trying to print new things. And once I have my viola out, I take a second to stop and think how I'm feeling. If I'm down or overwhelmed, I might pick a familiar piece, something that would be easier to play and comforting. Maybe the next day I would be up for more of a challenge. I could pick a new piece or a new technique. Like lately I've been working on a very cool bow technique that's kind of rhythmic. It's called chopping. And you'll get to hear me do that later in this video if you watch really closely. But first, Janet has a practice tip for you. Whether you're a morning person like me or more of a night owl, Choose a time of the day when you're feeling fresh and energized and plan your practice out. If you're the type of person who likes to knock out your practice all at once, set an alarm for the time you plan to spend and divide your practice time into three parts. Start with a short warm up, something to get your fingers moving. Follow that with scales or perhaps an exercise to improve your sound, intonation, and technique. Spend your third and longest part working on a solo piece, isolating difficult parts, and then playing longer passages. Or maybe you do better concentrating in short bursts, so try knocking out one small goal at a time. You might decide to spend every commercial break of your favorite television show working on a certain problem. By the end of a 30-minute show, you've gotten six minutes of concentrated work done. Of course, we all know that how much time you spend practicing does matter, but what we, we want to emphasize is how important the quality of your practice is. Chris has some great ideas to help you think about the quality of your practice time. One of the most helpful things I have learned over the years from my teachers is how to be efficient with my practice. Now, to make the most of our practice time, it's important to start by practicing the hardest sections of the piece we're working on. Now we can identify these by playing it ourselves or perhaps even listening to someone else play the piece. Now I will actually sit with the music while I'm listening and I'll mark an X in the margin next to the line where I find something to be hard. And then perhaps even a star over top of the bar itself. Well, so now that we know where these hard sections in the music are, how do we go about practicing them? Now no teacher is ever going to object to a little bit of metronome work. But one of my other go-tos that's especially good for fast passages is to use rhythms. Now, I'll show you an example of a section of the piece that we are going to play for you next that was particularly hard for me. Now, in order to use rhythms to practice that, I'll elongate the first of the four sixteenth notes. So it sounds a little like this. Now that gives my mind time to be able to tell my fingers what it expects to come next. Now, I'm gonna turn it over to Shar for one more practice tip. Social distancing and lots of staying at home has made it easy for all of us to feel kind of alone. But the good news is, is that we're all in this together and it's never been easier to stay connected to your musical community online. Maybe you could send a video or an audio recording of you playing a piece that you've been working on to one of your friends, and maybe your friend can offer you some helpful feedback. Or you could go on YouTube and you could check out all the different videos of different players performing to get some help with a technique that you've been working on. 
sometimes I like to use online streaming services um, to find a recording of a piece that I'm working on to do some mental cello practice. And I'll listen to this recording while I'm cooking dinner or while I'm cleaning my house or when I'm brushing my teeth. You could go to the Marine Band YouTube channel and there you'll find so many different videos of all different kinds of music, like big band, jazz, chamber music, marches, anything you can think of, you'll find on that channel. And maybe there'll be a cool piece that you're interested in working on on your own. We have one more piece for you today. It's a really fun, upbeat, fast uh, string quartet based on a Danish traditional tune. Make sure you listen for Sarah's chopping and for Chris's fast passages that he works so efficiently on. Enjoy. <laughs>